Hey, what's up, guys? So there's a cool article about Derek Lewis, and it involves George Foreman, and ESPN wrote it. I just think it's pretty cool, so I'm going to read it for you guys. It was Foreman who saw Lewis devastating punching power over a decade ago as Lewis was sparring in Foreman's gym. Lewis had just been released from prison after serving time for aggravated assault with serious bodily injury. In a 2018 ESPN interview, Lewis said he was 19 when a man reached for a weapon and a fight ensued. Lewis was arrested and placed on probation, but he said he couldn't pay fees and fines related to the incident that resulted in a violation and a three-year prison term. He made the move to MMA, and it was a wise move, Foreman, 72, told ESPN last week, but it was a heartbreaking move for me because he could have been a great boxer. Lewis recalled when Foreman tried to assess whether Lewis was a good opponent for one of Foreman's sons, who was a boxer, so Foreman watched one of Lewis's sparring sessions. I was tearing him up real bad in front of George. Lewis told ESPN last week, because George was there, I had to make myself look good. The guy wouldn't fall, though. He was all over the ring, but he wouldn't fall. But after seeing Lewis's skills, the plan changed. A machine of destruction, Foreman said when asked what he remembered of the young Lewis. I ended up being too good, Lewis said. They didn't want me to fight him in a real boxing match. They wanted to take me under their wing and train me and take me out to Vegas to train at Floyd Mayweather's gym and try to help me out in my boxing career. He was going to put me in an apartment. He gave me a car. I told him, I'm just going to wait and see how my first MMA match goes, and they really didn't want to hear it. I ended up fighting my first MMA match. I won, and I told them, I'm not going to do any boxing. I'm going to stick to MMA. So they took the car from me, and they said they ain't getting no apartment, and, in quotes, will holla at you. There were no hard feelings from Lewis, who said Foreman reminded him of his grandfather. It was a cool vibe, Lewis said. He was a good guy, a good church guy. I haven't seen him since. It's possible Lewis, 36, will see Foreman in the crowd Saturday, although Foreman wouldn't commit. Foreman also said he would help Lewis if he finally decided to give pro boxing a try. If he's given the right heavyweight match, he could do well. I would help him, Foreman said. With his experience and extra skill, he could become a great boxer and make a lot of money. Lewis said if he could land the type of money generated by novelty boxers such as Jake Paul and Logan Paul, he would be all in. And I told him, no, I don't think um, boxing is going to be for me. And at this time, they already had gave me a car and it was about to put me in an apartment um, across the street from the gym that I was training at downtown Houston. And um, and I told him, no, I don't want to do boxing. I'm going to just stick to MMA because I felt like MMA was more easier than the boxing. And so they took the car away from me. <laughs> <laughs> they took the car back? Yeah. They, took they repoed your car? Yeah, it was um, a Buick anyway. So I was <laughs> Tell me what you think of this story in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.